Hey guys, Dr. John Russin here, and I'm talking about wrist extensions and wrist curls, commonly done in the gym to try to hit the forearms, to try to add some hypertrophy to the forearms, but it's really one of the biggest time wasters that I see, and it can actually potentially become injurious, especially at the structures of the elbow, both on the medial and lateral sides. So we've all seen the gym bros going through, going through wrist curls, wrist extensions, and this is two and a half pounds, and this is about the weight that you see people using. This is not enough loading capacity to actually get tissue adaptation. So instead of doing this and wasting a lot of time, what we're gonna actually do is add some wrist-centric motion to our curls and pushdowns for the biceps and the triceps. So what I'm talking about here is when I go into the curl motion, the bottom of the range of motion, I wanna start off with slight extension happening at the wrist. And as I come through, you're gonna be finishing off the motion with slight flexion at the wrist. So yes, it's gonna still be biceps and forearm direct work, but we're really gonna accentuate the peaking of the squeeze at the forearms with a little bit more wrist motion. So you can see the same thing happening inversely here though with the tricep pushdown. We wanna start in flexion. And as we come down and through, we wanna extend the wrist to really peak that contraction happening at the forearms, but also at the upper arms as well.